Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care. I thought it would be really helpful for me to start a Q&A with Michelle series. Uh, many of you have similar questions, and in fact, some of the questions I get are repeated over and over, so I know that these could definitely help a lot of people. Now, one thing you do wanna keep in mind though is Injuries to your hand and your arm, and your shoulder, actually any injury is so dependent on so many factors. I don't want you to take any of this as medical advice, and that is my disclaimer. Please, please, please always seek a professional opinion. Always go to a physician to have your injury looked at if you have not. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so this person injured his pinky finger, so injured his little finger, and he wore a homemade splint. And um, he self-diagnosed himself. Now he has begun to take the splint off more and more. So he's wondering, should I still hurt like after I first injured it? So it sounds like his finger it was injured and then he splinted his finger and then now he's decided to do some exercises and now his injury is hurting pretty much the same as it was when he first injured his finger. So a couple of things here with this. First of all, he didn't get a diagnosis from a doctor, probably didn't get an x-ray. So really I can't provide advice for this because we don't know exactly what's going on in the finger. And the fact that he said, I injured my pinky finger, doesn't tell me anything about his injury. Remember, even though it's a pinky finger, you know, was it on the front side of the finger? Was it on the back side of the finger? Was it at your, your DIP joint? Or was it at your PIP joint? Or was it at your knuckle? Was it the bone? Was it the tendon? Was it ligament? So when somebody, somebody asks me, questions about their injury, there's so much going through my head, it makes it almost impossible for me to provide answers to your questions. Now, the other thing too with this one is that you made your splint on your own. So I have no clue, first of all, you know, what kind of injury you had to the in, to begin with, but now you made your own splint. And unfortunately, in a finger, there are certain diagnoses that you want to make your finger splint straight, but then there's certain that you shouldn't be splinting your finger straight and you should actually be splinting your finger in a little bit of a bent position. And if it's further down in the knuckle, you should be um, splinted bent, but sometimes you have to be splinted straight. Again, it really, really depends on what structure was injured and in the hand that is so important to understand. So the other thing he's saying too is that it's still hurting him just like when he re-injured it. So that tells me a few things too is that perhaps it's not healed and perhaps he wasn't splinted in a correct position so his injury might not quite be healed. So I would really, really recommend to have a, um, a hand doctor, a doctor that specializes in the hand to look at his finger so that he can get an x-ray and hopefully it's not been uh, too much time to where it can still be uh, fixed and healed correctly. So I can't emphasize how important it is to go to a hand doctor, go to a doctor that has experience looking at the hand and so that they can really make sure that you are, are splinted correctly and you're properly diagnosed because that is what's gonna help you get the best outcome. Now, if all that happened and you had the best, uh, you know, you had a doctor look at it and you were splinted correctly and then uh, was told when to start exercises and you're still having pain with your exercises, there could be a few reasons why as well. One could be is that you were just splinted um, and didn't move for you know several days, even several weeks. Really, it's just a matter of a couple days that your fingers get very, very, very stiff. So when you do start moving, it can be very sore and very painful. And that's why it's really important to start very gentle exercises in the beginning so you don't cause too much pain, which will then in turn potentially make you 
swell and make you more apprehensive to even do your exercises. Okay, so this one says that I had stitches removed in my finger, now I'm struggling to move more normally, and I can't bend my finger, what should I do? Well, this one is kind of similar to the other one. Well, it does say he had stitches removed in his small finger. Again, so small finger, kind of popular getting injured. This doesn't tell me anything about his injury. If you have stitches in your finger, there could be several reasons why you have stitches. You could just have a kind of a small cut when uh, and having nothing uh, deep in the tissue was affected. Uh, however, if you have a deeper cut and did you have surgery to where you had to have um, some other underlying structures uh, also stitched up, which could be why potentially you're having a hard time moving. The other thing too is sometimes when you go somewhere such as an emergency room or an urgent care, and they're looking to just kind of uh, heal you and stitch you up, and they don't really truly look at the structures in the hand. And again, that's why I say it's so important to go to a hand doctor or a hand surgeon, because sometimes when you cut a finger, because there's not a lot of tissue in the finger, you can easily cut small little ligaments or small little structures that help with our function of our hand. And if that's missed, and you had just a, just a cut that was stitched up, and you go to find that you can't move, to me, that might red flag me to go see a surgeon because maybe something was actually cut that was not seen um, right after your injury or when you went to the emergency room or to urgent care. I can't emphasize that enough to go and make sure that if you do have an injury and you can't move, then it's probably a little deeper than what was originally thought and you need to go and have a surgeon look at it to make sure that nothing more severe was injured. Now in the same token, sometimes when you have, a, have stitches on the finger, such as say like the back of the finger and nothing was cut, and you're just feeling, you should only just feel a little bit of um, tightness or stiffness, then you really should be able to get your mobility back pretty quickly. So those are just a few questions that I get. Let me know if that helps. Like this video and subscribe to Virtual Hand Care. If you want more of these videos, comment below and let me know and I'll go through more Q&A series to help you out and hopefully get your questions answered as well. I'll talk to you soon, take care.